Last weekend we started the first meetings of the technical groups and some related meetings here in Santiago de Chile where we are presenting our initiatives, our concrete proposals, concrete initiatives in the areas that we have defined as the four priorities of our hosting year. Digital society, integration 4.0, inclusiveness, uh, women and SMEs and sustainable growth. Chile has focused on, on digital society, the concept, and not digital economy, because we have, want to have a people-centered, again, a people-centered uh, approach into, into the discussion of the digital. We want to look into the, the opportunities of, of the digital revolution, as well as the challenges of the digital revolution, particularly for those sectors of the economy that are, are not 100% into the digital revolution, talking about SMEs, remote areas. Um, it's a problem, it's a challenge that has been highlighted by many economies in, in APEC, including Chile. So we want to work on, on this area, how to reduce the, the, digital, the digital gap, how we can measure the, 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 the digital, digital economy, how we can have more SMEs, for example, participating in the digital world and digital commerce. So, so it's, it's, a, it's an ambitious outcome, or an ambitious agenda that we have put, as I said before, but, uh, but it's something that is taking into consideration the challenges of, of all the, the, the APEC economies on, on, this, on this revolution. On the, on, the, on the women priority, um, you may recall that we have a very long history of, of discussing women issues in, in APEC, uh, almost a decade talking about that. But we thought, uh, and Chile thought, that it was time to, to, to do something more meaningful for, for women. No? Um, based on the experience, based on the work that APEC has done in, in, in the past years, we want to develop a very strong agenda. Um, I think it's time for, for women to, to, to have their role in society to have the benefits of, of, of trade liberalization, that they can export, that they can prosper, that they can innovate. And that's something that, that we have a very in, in our heart. We are very happy that our Vice Minister for, for, for Women will be the chair of the PPWE for the next two years, so, so she can also take the, the agenda together with the other economies. I think it's an important uh, agenda for us. Uh, also record that on the 8th of, of March, uh, when we have the, the last day of the SOM meeting, it's International Women's Day, and so we are also going to celebrate that, 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 that fact during our meeting. We, we have set an, an ambitious agenda for, for the year. We want to get concrete results, um, very people-centered results. Uh, that's the focus of our year. Um, our president has been very clear that he wants a people-centered uh, approach. Our theme is just also centering the people. So it is an ambitious agenda, yes, uh, but we think with the help and the collaboration of all the APEC economies, we can deliver strong results, concrete results in the areas that we have highlighted, particularly in the inclusiveness of, of, of women, SMEs, and, and, and those sectors of our economies that are in some way not benefiting 100% of trade realization. Our back to basic agenda, um, as, the, as our leaders stated in Papua New Guinea last November, is uh, looking again into how APEC was conceived as a non-binding, a discussion cooperation fora where we can test ideas, test new public policy, exchange experiences. I think that that's very important. We shouldn't be bringing our bilateral problems into the fora because that may pollute, if I can, if I can use that word, our our more broader discussion. No. So in that sense, Chile is trying to build or trying to work in a framework, and we are doing. It. Um, retreats and informal conversations among some and even in some of the committees. This informal process also helps to build confidence among economies, among, among some, among delegations, and that, that's also very important. No? The trust that we can generate among the meeting rooms, among, um, within the retreats also, I think it's very important to, to create a good atmosphere, a constructive atmosphere to get better and strong outcomes at the end of the year.